Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to talk about the latest changes to the feet. Specifically, I'm going to talk about my feet, since those are the feet I know the best. So these are my feet. Uh, this one I have outlined in red just in case it changes. I don't know if the outline will catch it or not, but I thought I'd just give it a try. So that's the right foot. This is the left foot. What I've noticed lately is a number of things. One is I remember my feet being, the toes being lined up more on the end and straight across. Uh, now it looks like this little pinky toe is kind of dragging down along the side and these other ones are getting dragged down as well. So they're actually going to be more of clutching power now. They're going to uh, be uh, more of a ring-like instead of just straight across. So. That may be an improvement, I don't know, but it is interesting. So I'm gonna kind of go over a couple things now. All right, so to specify, there's been a number of things I've really noticed. The one I noticed first was that they looked longer to me. I've always had really, really short toes. Nobody had any toes shorter than me. Uh, people would just kind of tease me about it good-naturedly. Wow, look at your toes. Uh, it does not seem that they're that short anymore. Uh, if you look online, there are lots of other images of similar length toes. Uh, this one toe especially, I do not remember rivaling the big toe at all. It was quite a bit shorter. Um, and these little ones um, were just barely, I mean, they were shorter. I've always even had a thing where there wasn't enough room on the end of my toe for a full toenail. Uh, but now I had been noticing in recent years that the toenails seem to be a little more substantial and uh, it would actually make sense if the toes are actually getting a little longer, as weird as that is to say. Now what I've noticed lately, uh, just the last few days, is there's, I mean I've noticed it for a couple weeks, but just yesterday I looked and there's a huge space now between these two toes. And it's on both feet. Uh, it's very prominent and I had kind of noticed the space between these over here as well but this one's really sticking out this toe is really kind of canting to the side and that's on both feet now and I haven't been having any special foot problems or anything it just seems like this is what it's doing oh very weird so here shows the old line I remember the feet the toes kind of being at the end of the foot uh, this is the red line is the new line that it is now Another thing that I've been discussing a few times already is someone mentioned up in comments that they noticed a bump here. Uh, this image doesn't show it really well. It really shows up a little bit more on my, on uh, depending on what angle you look at the feet. But there's a bump right here that I did not used to have. The, the, the foot used to just end in the toe. There wasn't like a, um, a prominence out the side here like there is now. Um, so that's basically it. The toes are longer. There's more space between them in the pinky toe, and these toes are sort of coming off the side now, um, and the new bump. So let's look at a couple things I saw online. I was looking for images of my old style that I remembered it, and this one caught my eye because if you look at this foot here, uh, it looks a lot like what I remember my foot being like. But weirdly, all these other ones have more angle to them. You would think that they would just be copying this um, mirror image, mirror image, but when they, for some reason, when it gets to this foot, it's the old style foot. And this foot is like my current foot. And I'm going to uh, illustrate that a little bit better so you can see it. I drew some triangles on here. So it went from the big toe to the little toe to the back of the heel. And if you do the same on this one, you can see that the, the triangle is not an equilateral triangle. It is. Uh, it is this side of the triangle and this side are not equal, whereas on this one, they are. This is how I remember my foot before. This is a lot like how it is now. So I looked around for a couple more images online. This, this image also kind of shows it, although here's the bump on this one. I did not have the bump, but um, you can see that those toes are actually about the length of my current toes, maybe. I've also noticed a lot more that you see um, this weird longer toes here. 
Um, some some feet now have a longer middle toe than the big toe. Um, I don't, I can't swear that that didn't exist before, but it's kind of been a thing lately. These images here, these stylized ones show it as I remember a lot more. Uh, the biggest toe was the biggest toe. That's why they call it the big toe. But um, now it's the fattest toe, but a lot of times it's not the longest toe anymore. Uh, this one kind of shows it from the front. It's not the best quality one, but they were sort of lined up before. Then another one like this. Again, um, more like how I remember it. Not too much bump over here. Okay, so let's close that one down. All right, so let's go into the, the structure of the bones here. You can see here that this is the bump area that I was talking about. Um, your foot comes out about in the toes and about here. So right in here, there's going to be um, a bump area. I, I'm not sure if this is really the, the cause of the bump or what, but they're cause, calling this thing the tuberosity. And um, a tuberosity is a bump or a prominence that grows so that tendons or muscles can attach and I don't recall ever having those before but it's a pretty big thing in the current skeleton to have lots of weird bumps so uh, to be clear your foot would end right about here and then these would be your toes so the big toe just has one joint here and these other four have two joints and I, I keep looking at this because I'm just not sure if I remember these little joints in here, but, um, or if it was just more like this one. Um, it, it looks to me like this toe to me has one more joint than I recall, but I cannot swear to that one, so I'm just gonna throw it out there. Um, but also I've discussed before that I do not remember this little uh, ball bearing bumps at the end of the toes. So that's one I've already covered. One other interesting that thing that I saw just recently was this um, flexi feet. Did some humans fail to leave them in the trees? So they're saying now that one out of 13 humans, which is a lot of humans, has a weird flexi foot that's like an ape foot. So to give you an idea of it, uh, when an ape is walking, the foot kind of bends the other way, and that is supposed to uh, assist with climbing in the trees, whereas when a human walks, see how it bends like that? Now, when a human walks, it stays stiff, or it's supposed to. Uh, but they're saying now that one in 13 people, uh, it doesn't stay stiff. Um, and then they're making a big thing out of it because they said uh, it was shocking. I mean, 80 years of research has argued that humans don't do this. Uh, so apparently uh, the re podiatry was uh, horribly wrong for um, 80 years or other, either that something has changed. So, I mean, this is such a familiar story now that, uh, oh, we were wrong for all this time. What do you know? And it was right there. Uh, to give you a little bit better idea, this is a human foot here and this is an ape foot. So basically what they're saying is that this, when a human steps, this keeps the arch here, but when an, when an ape steps, the arch bends down and it, it allows them to clutch onto trees and stuff better. However, this is supposed to be an advantage for walking on the ground and walking long distances as it's supposed to be more efficient, whereas this one is supposed to be more efficient for in the trees. So I don't know where this is all going with this flexi foot, uh, and it may we may find out that long term they'll say, oh, this is good for lots of things and it's fine for walking on the ground or, or something, I don't know. But there's been a lot of weird things with the foot. Um, see this large um, heel bone here, I don't remember that. Um, you can just barely see in this one, the, um, there is what they call the uh, sesamoid bones, which are little standalone ball bearing bones that are supposed to help with uh, muscle and ligament attachment. And you can see it on that one. Let's see if I can find it on this one. Uh, I think this one had it. Yes, these two bones right here are actually separate little bones um, that are ball bearings. I, I discussed that one in a really old video, one of my first videos. 
So anyway, lots of uh, weird things going on with the um, foot bone right now, with the foot. So uh, that's the latest. Um, keep an eye on those feet. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.